Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Underdog. An Undertale fan game where you finally get to kill the annoying dog, or spirit, which I don't think you actually want to do. Let's check the annoying dog first. He looks like he has a bone to pick with you. The pun makes no sense in this context. Maybe it does. Pet the annoying dog. He tried petting the dog, but he refused. He's determined not to be petted. This is actually pretty annoying. I dance in front of the annoying dog. The dog seems to like it. Attack Lord. So I'm gonna die to the annoying dog. Let me just tell you this. But he refused. Oh yeah, there is no items in this because he didn't program it into their fan game. Let's lower the annoying dog's attack. So Toby, I mean the annoying dog, doesn't kill us. Still hurts pretty hard. That's just not a bone. That's just a series of lasers. Very painful ones. I'm gonna say first off, like the most redeeming part of this fan game is the annoying dog megalophania theme. It's a, I think like the annoying dog no what? What? That's not bone pun. That's fighting. Bark 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 Annoying dog is really annoying. Ooh, ooh. I mean it's not too bad. It's I mean the biggest crippling thing is you have no healing. Now that's weird. Why does that act thing shooting bones at me? That's not terrible. It's over to annoying dog. Stole too many items from me. I think you're pretty boned. I seem like I have this down to an old hat. It seems like you can just sit in one area. I feel Toby Fox literally crawling on my back. Those lasers wouldn't hit you. Any surprises? Any more? No? Got off my back, Toby Fox. I'm a bad person, I already know it. Ooh. 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 That's not good. Alright, you got me. Let's kill the annoying dog again. Not too bad. This one, you can just hang towards the bomb. You don't have to, like, get in the middle and dodge. Then you're, like, overthinking, and then you'll, like, end up getting more damage. There's a few of, uh, Toriel's Dan Maku that are kind of like that. Where if you overcompensate in your dodging, you actually make it way too hard for where it is. There's so just, like, one sweet spot, spot, and that's it. No annoying dog, no. Don't be so annoying. This is the final dog. This is it. This is a dog of dogs. Holy crap. This is an annoying dog. Lay off. Standard damn Maku. If I die to this, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. I'm okay with this. No, Toby. No, don't do this. Don't. 
Come on. I played your game. I promoted your Kickstarter. Lay off. Lay off. Come on. Listen, Toby. Listen. Remember when you didn't have much money on that Kickstarter? Remember when I played your demo? Come on. Let me just kill you. Alright. Was that so hard? No. For me, it might be slightly. But not me. Goodbye, Toby. So, that was Underdog. You might be wondering why I'm playing some of these Undertale fan games. Inherently, it's not necessarily because they're Undertale, actually. If they were actually story-based Undertale games, I think it'd be much easier for them to screw up, and I probably wouldn't like them as much or I wouldn't even play them, because I've never played the off-fan games, for one, just because of that reason. I actually play these Undertale fan games because I really like Dan Maku. I really like Toho, and there's specifically one game I really love on the PlayStation called Ira Jez. No, Ihender. Ihender. I'm thinking of a different game. Ihender is a very good Dan Maku shoot em up game, and I really love that. It's one of my favorite games. But since all these games are Dan Maku based, and they all have like little different patterns and quirks to them, I really like playing them actually, just as their own outright games. This one is not as strong as Undertale Red, as far as like over design and detail, but. You're still finding an annoying dog that's throwing bones at you, and let's be frank, it makes it gives you an excuse to make puns. So, I like it just for that reason alone. There's a few more Undertale fan games I plan to play out there. I'm actually gonna check them out first to see if there's any quality to them before I try them. I'm not sure if they could be as good as the annoying dog in Undertale Red, but I plan to play them in the future. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play Undertale Dog. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.